I'm on the lake, but I'm in the boat today. So far, so good. Still floating. Better check the bilge pump though in a minute just to make sure I'm not digging on water. Anyway, haven't cranked it up yet. Let's see what we got here in a minute. Here we go. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. I got primed the microphone up here in a little bit just to make sure I'm okay because I know I'm gonna hit some probably some wind here in a little bit. I'm in a cove where I just put in. <clears throat> it looks a little windy, which I knew it was gonna be. I was trying to get it here earlier, but it took me forever to just get things set up. So anyway, here we go. I don't remember how to do this. <laughs> Been a minute since I cranked it too, and it's been cold. Okay, that's a start. moving it ain't very good but we are moving my boats it's crooked figure that out full tank of gas six gallon tank Let's see if we can get I'm in a no wake zone anyway but we we'll go up kind of turn around a little bit and just kind of let it run nice and easy for a minute oh, I'm sitting crooked I got a gas tank on the back right I'm gonna have to rearrange some stuff I think to Let's see what we got. Let me get a leader like that for a minute. Oh, I got my trolling motor up. I'm just going to go to a place I know I can go where I won't bottom out because, again, I don't have my um, depth finder on the back that's going to run with my, um, to tell me what my depth is. So I'm just going to go where I know. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> I forgot to left my anchor down. <laughs> that was brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see if that'll help. over here pushing me the way I don't want to go so let's see what we can do here without hopefully I won't bottom out. I got to adjust my trim on the motor because I can't get up on the plane, but that's okay. We'll just put her around a little bit today, just get her out and get her warmed up a little bit. See what we got. Man, it's good to be on the boat. Too much weight on the right side. Trolling motor's on the right. I sit on the right. My battery's on the left over here. Battery's on the left up in the front. I gotta figure something out. It's just running sideways. I don't know why. Let me get up here. Here's 
the spot up here I fish a lot. Well, I used to fish with David. David, I know you're watching this. Finally got her on the water. Might be a little sketchy with the trolling motor running today just because of the wind coming in. Might be able to find me a spot. It's not as much wind. I get on the other side where the bluffs are maybe and it won't be that bad. Here we go. Let's get it. Apologies again for the loss of sound. As you can see, this is my first catch of the day, and it is Skipjack, aka Tennessee Tarpon, aka Freshwater Tarpon. I'd given up on the dock area, the wind was just brutal over there, so what I did was I moved over to the bluff area, and it was a lot less windy. You can still see the winds blowing in the trees behind me. But I only had to move the trolling motor here and there just to keep myself from getting pushed into the bank. Just every once in a while, it was actually fairly calm over there. And you can see that I'm just moving a little now. But this was my first fish. And unfortunately, the first fish in my boat, first time out, is a skipjack. But it's a fish. So here we go. Let's see what else happens here. Okay, second fish of the day. Bluegill, I believe. Let's take a look at this one. I don't think that's a sunfish. I think it's a bluegill. You guys tell me what you think. Hopefully I'll give you a little bit better picture here in just a second. But that was about two, three casts maybe after I caught the skipjack. But yeah, I think that's a bluegill. Could be a sunfish, could be a red ear. I can't tell really well right now. Okay, I moved locations. It was so windy um, out at um, Old Hickory that I, I was planning on coming to Marabone anyway, and I was hoping to do two videos, basically where I would have one of Old Hickory and one here, but I only got two fish at Old Hickory, so this will probably just be one video, and hopefully I'm going the right way. Let's see. All right, I was going the wrong way. It took me longer to get out here than I wanted to. I tried to stop and grab something to eat for lunch, which I should have just skipped it and just came straight out. But I was already in Old Hickory, oh, sorry. I was all the way out in Old Hickory and, um, well, Old Hickory Lake. And I knew it was gonna be at least 45, 50 minute drive. Stop and got something to eat, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, hopefully I get at least a good two and a half hours out here. I gotta get back. I gotta leave here at least 30 minutes before dark because I found out last night that only one of my trailer lights was working. Now, last time I, I tested them, they were working fine. And of course, it's been a while. I checked the bulbs and the bulbs look good. I may just have a bad light. The wire may have gotten messed up, I don't know. So I need to get back before it gets dark. Let's see if we can catch some today. Trolling motor's working great. If I could um, stand still, I'm not used to using this, um, especially with a little bit of wind and then it's a little more sensitive than I guess I'm kind of used to and I'm not used to just staying like this a lot. Plus I don't have it mounted as far in the front as I want, but it's just the way I did it. So I'm just gonna deal with it. A little breeze out here today, but it's not near as bad as it was at Old Hickory. Got the graph running. 23 feet right here. Since I'm not catching any fish, might as well see some wildlife. There is a, this wind, golly. There are two raccoons, there they are. There's a muskrat or something right there. Or is that another raccoon? That's another raccoon. There we go. What's up, buddy? Ah, there's two of them. I thought I'd catch at least one out here. At Marabone. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. I got about an hour left. 
Maybe. Well, nothing in Maribone today. I can't believe it. I threw everything. Spinnerbait, chatterbait, beetle spin, crankbait, yum dinger. I think that's it. I didn't get a hit. I mean, didn't get a hit. A couple little taps on the beetle spin. Uh, old hickory wasn't bad. I mean, it wasn't good either. <laughs> but have to find another spot it was so windy and again we had a cold front come through Tuesday Wednesday I figured though it'd been warming up the last few days the nights haven't been too cold and I just thought be a good day to go it was great though to get the boat out didn't leak I mean I even pulling the pulling the plug I mean, there wasn't even anything coming out. It was like a maybe a light trickle, and it only lasted a few seconds. So, didn't have to use the bilge pump. Made it back. Should be able to get home before dark. I'm cutting it close. I'm in the woods, in the hills, though. So, once I have a squirrel. Dang, dude. All right. Hopefully, I'll be able to get back before dark. I still gotta put it in the backyard. That's not fun. I gotta tear down a old slide little thing, little house thing, because I can't turn around the backyard. I need the um, what's it called? There's a connector you can get to go on your um, trailer, so you can. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll post it. I don't know. I may tell you what it is. All right. Well. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to just a hundred subscribers this year. I'm up to about 66. Got about two and a half months left. And give me a good like. Subscribe for me. And then hit that notification button or the bell or whatever it is now. I'll see y'all on the water. I hope.